Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can wrap a custom view inside a navigation view so it makes it really easy to work with and show more complex information and not have to clutter up our main root view of our project. So as you can see right here, I'm in my root view of my project for my data project. I've, cut, um, I've commented out my main section I'm working with, but we have our section right here for my custom data. And because I don't have it wrapped inside a navigation view, I have to create a navigation link and I have to give it a description and then it's destination. I have to put that up so I can actually go through and then go to that information so I can get to the detail view. But if I wrap it up inside a navigation view like this, so I have right here my bucket list view, I can simply just load straight to it and it's really quite easy. All I have to do is I go to my custom view right here. So I'm going to go to my energy view. That's so my energy stats row view that I have right here. It's just a standard stack. And I'm just going to uncomment out my code for this. Uncomment right there. Uncomment out that bracket. And so I just have to wrap my stack of code that I'm working with and I wrap it inside a navigation link. And so all you have to do for that is just command click and embed. And then I set the destination to be that detailed stats and I pass it the parameter of that data that I'm working with. And so I have my um, energy stats variable called row energy stats and I send that to here, which will automatically load it inside that detail view so I can load that information over here in the associated detail view. And so by doing that, I can make it so instead of having to go through and in my data view, I have to have the um, big pile of information right here for the navigation link, I just have to have just the energy row view. So I have my energy stats and I pass it a row energy stats variable and I'll pass it that current energy, the one I just extracted out of that. And yes, I know you can uh, easily put this into a single line statement, but again, I'm trying to make sure you see the steps that happen as I do it. And so the, what we have right here is I'm gonna have, because it's not identifiable, I grab the data store, I ask for its data, and I get an indices out of that. And to avoid an error message, I use the id backslash dot self, which makes sure that it'll compile properly for that. And then I grab the, each index that's inside that for the closure. I grab the current energy by going to the stored energy um, item. I grab the energy data and sub index. And then I grab that individual energy and I pass it as the parameter to that row energy stats preview. And so I'll go ahead and load this right here. And now we can see I've got my lovely row view right here that goes to the detail for each of the appropriate years we have on that. So 60, 61, all the information is really easily available so we can have that so it's quite easy to work with. Great little setup right here so we can have that happen. And so we've got that right here. We have our custom data and we have it so we can just simply create that individual row. If I uncome out these lines right here and get that section back up and running. And so I have it right there. So I have that same thing. I have that great little quick little workup on that. Wonderful way to get that set up and ready to go. I hope this is helpful. Again, we can make it so we can wrap it a view inside a navigation link. Makes it so you can have an easier way to make that happen. And as you can see, it just holds it all together. Makes it very easy to destination and make it so it can grow right to where we want to make it look at and have it work. Hope this is helpful. Cheers. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.